Periquilatum has never been made, at least on a commercial level, or at the level that we're, do, we're attempting to do it now. And, and we've been very, very successful because of Thomas and because of Del Jaro's involvement. They'll drop into this funnel here and down into the tank. The tank will fill up with water and the oil will be at the top. And I draw the oil off right here. It was very difficult because everybody in the world was saying, well, it's just another species, it's this, it's that. Uh, but over the last two and a half, three years, uh, working with it, distilling it, finding out that its, its properties are, I believe, to be better than anything in the world, and I think we're about ready to prove that. There isn't very much of this in the world, and I get to put my hands right in it. Look at that. This holds 700 pounds of sandalwood chip. The lid will be on it after we finish filling it. Once it starts down that pipe, it heads to a heat exchanger. We take the vaporized oil and they separate. Oh, I think what Thomas has been able to accomplish here is, un it's just unbelievable with the little resources, human resources he has, which is mainly himself, uh, to be able to put together a system that's cranking out the incredible quality and yield of oil um, this mind-boggling to me. I've seen a lot of distillation setups and um, and this one is is really top-notch. The paniculatum so far that I've seen is actually higher in the sample, total sample law content when you combine all those sample laws. When we say total sample law content we're not just talking about alpha and beta sample law we're talking about all the sesquiterpene alcohols that are common to the sandalwood oil. In terms of comparison to the spicatum or the Australian sandalwood, it's not even close. This blows it out of the water, so it's, it's, we don't even bother comparing it to that. You got to look at what goes into the production of this, from lifting whole trees out by helicopter, which is how they, ha they do it in some of the cases here in Hawaii, um, and then the process of removing the sapwood, getting to the heartwood, or getting to the root bud. Uh, and then chipping it up into little tiny pieces by the time it makes it to the still. And then the amount of fuel that's required and energy that's required to get the oil out of the actual wood over a distillation period of days, um, you can understand why it's so valuable. This represents in this bottle in terms of, uh, you know, when, once it's bottled in small bottles, this represents $14,000. When you think about that, it's quite amazing.